Hey guys, Paint How's... Fox in the house, Nostalgic uh... Dave. Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with Self Love Part 2. This is the final side story, and let's just be honest, this one's not going to let me read any of the parts because she thinks the voices are crap, so. Get out! Ugh. Gotta love him, though. Alright. <laughs> begin, would we would like to begin the side story, yes. Let's see. What is not... Hi! Oh, hello! I almost thought you weren't coming today. Hmm. Why is that, Yuri? Because you can be a little brat sometimes. Yeah, well... Lunch is already more than halfway out. Natsuki had typically been meeting Yuri in the stairwell, much earlier since it had been a good way of dodging her friends since she didn't like seeing them. Today she's holding a large plastic container in both hands. What, is she eating liver? Like someone else's liver? Is she trying to eat Yuri's liver? I ran into my friend, so I hung out with them for a while. Is that so? Yeah. I was in a good mood today, so I figured I should. I hadn't seen them in a while. Which I had to come up with an excuse for. But I expected that. Plus, I have way more of these than I know what to do with, so I figured I would share them too, you know? Well, why not share any with me? I want some cupcakes. Huh. As she sits down, Natsuki opens the lid of her container. You made cupcakes! How did I know? That's Natsuki's specialty. You know it! It's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time at this about time again. You can take one if you want. Oh. Yuri takes a cupcake and carefully twirls it between her fingers. Mm mm mm. Delicious. I would like to try one of Natsuki's cupcakes. Okay, Nostalgic Dave is popping into the, the thingy for a second. Just to help adjust things. We don't want to hurt your guys' ears, so... <laughs> Yuri takes a cupcake and carefully... Oh, wait, I already read that. It's brown with dark green frosting, immaculately shaped into a floral pattern, topped with some kind of glittery powder. It's brown with dark green frosting. What is it, a haunted cupcake? I mean, is a ghost eating? Start is a ghost splattered all over the pancake? I mean, the cupcake. So I guess Natsuki is making pancakes now. How pretty! I just ate, so I might not be able to finish it. Are they for the club? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't really think about it. I just made them. Oh, I thought that. Because green is Monica's favorite color, right? Well, yeah, but that's not really, uh... Yuri takes a small bite. <clears throat> Yummy! This is green tea flavored. Uh... I love green tea! Oh, do you? It was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... <laughs> Bullshit, Natsuki! You know she likes green tea! Why are, you, why are you pulling that? That's legit what she drinks in the club every day! Don't laugh at me! I'm, I'm not! I just feel happy! I'm sorry! Usually when. Never 
mine. When I menace that, I'm glad. Ugh. Sorry for saying dumb things again. I just wanted to do something nice. Ugh. Never again will I. Jesus. And this is something I happen to be very good at. Thank you. And I do, you know, like them from past experience. Hmm. Yuri turns red, recalling the time she treated herself rather generously to Noski's cupcakes. What? Did she go when Noski wasn't looking and eat all the damn cupcakes? And just shove them in her face one by one by one? <laughs> Ironically, her mouth is too full of cupcake for her to stammer an excuse, so she just settles for a disapproving look. Mm-mm-mm. What a shame. How did you get into baking? Ah, well, I don't know. I just kind of appealed to me. See, I kind of mixed this and this and this and this, and it actually made something very good. Well, a few years ago, I got read this manga with a lot of baking, so I was like super into it for a while. I was probably making stuff almost every day. But it's something I always knew I like. It's like baking is like art. But when you get good at it, it's more delicious too. I'm struggling to imagine putting my heart into something so artistic, knowing that it would just be eaten afterwards. Then fine, don't. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, maybe you're too practical for it. I think I prefer to be on the receiving end. Oh, wait. That was Yuri. I think I prefer to be on the receiving end. That's my other favorite part about it. It's something I can do that makes a lot of people happy, like, unconditionally. Everyone is always so thankful that I, that in that moment you get to be, like, the bringer of joy. I don't know. It just makes me feel... Feel value? Yeah, I guess that. So you were able to make up with your friends today? Hmm? There wasn't really anything for me to make up with them about, Yuri. We aren't fighting or anything like you and I have been. Come on now! Ugh! Maybe I misunderstood. No shit, Sherlock! <laughs> it only turns into a fight if I lose my cool, and that's why it's, it's just unnecessary drama. It only makes things worse. So, they're not going to stop? I mean, it only... It only... It's just the way they are. I'm the only one who's ever had a problem with it. It's really not worth it. <laughs> Especially since I have to go somewhere when I don't feel like hanging out with them. I see. The cupcake's empty foil round wrapper play <laughs> round. Crinkle says Yuri clenches a fist. What are you little <laughs> Get off my lawn <laughs> I was talking about the teacher, but okay. I'm glad the situation is resolved. And that you don't have to avoid them anymore. Yeah. Me too. And I don't have to bother you during your alone time anymore. I'm sorry for doing that to begin with, Yuri. Ugh. I won't bother.
bother you anymore. I'm sure you have a lot of reading to catch up on. Yeah. I know that. That cupcakes are basically nothing compared to all your stuff that you've done for me. What's the best I can do? So you can have the rest of them. Noski grabs the box and slides it over to Yuri's feet. Why is she kicking, playing kick the rock now? I can understand that very good. Yuri stares at the box. Then she shakes her head and slides them back. Oh, so yeah, they're playing kick the box, kick the rock now. You should have them for your other friends. But I made them for you. Noski's voice whines as she protests. I know. And I like them very much, exactly as you thought. You succeeded, but I know you care about making your other friends happy, too. And if this is the way you know how to make that happen, then I'm not going to take it from you. No! They were make for making you happy. You, you make me happy. You're worth more than cupcakes to some people. That's why they want to spend time with you. And be your friend. Aww. Are you guys gonna hug now? Are you guys gonna hug and then kiss and then make up? Without warning, tears pour from Noski's eyes. Oh, poor baby. Pulls her knees to her chest and starts sobbing into her arms. Natsuki? I'm such a bad person! <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Yuri, Yuri stammers, feeling panicked. I didn't mean to say something bad. Natsuki shakes her head and wipes her eyes. Why did I do that in Yuri's voice? Okay. You didn't. I just... Uh... <laughs> Noski tries to choke back her sobs, but struggles to speak through them. I just really hate myself sometimes. And it feels so wrong when you say those nice things to me. <laughs> deserve it. I am sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so difficult. And I can't think of even a single thing about myself that somebody would like. Uh, and I hated myself. And I hated myself from bothering you during lunch. It was my chance to be a good person. Like, to be nice and do the things you wrote about in that letter. I know if I tried it in the club, Sayori and Monica would be super annoying and make a huge deal about it. Like they always do. Come on, Sayori and Monica. You know, I think a lot of those negative things, too, about myself. I never felt like a good person. I always scrutinize everything I say. And later, I feel like I've always said all the wrong things. Well, that's how I used to feel in my old relationship. Hashtag relatable. Yeah, I... People still use hashtags. Because sometimes you feel like, when that's the case, you can't say jack crap right and if you say something it's going to turn into an argument and then it's going to turn into a crap fest and then you're going to want to break out and crying and just not sleep or eat or do anything 
And I just spent so much time thinking about myself, hating myself, feeling like everyone else must hate me too. So I understand some of that in my, through my own experience. And that's why I wanted to write the letter and express my feelings. It pained me to see those things in someone else that I saw inside myself. It, it hurt. Hey, so she's like me and you in that sense. A big ol' mirror. Yes, he's popping in and out every once in a blue moon just to bug me. But he's my better half. Noski sniffles. Yuri rustles through her bag and pulls out some tissues, then hands them to Noski. Monica told me it takes a good person to reflect on these things. Then desire to improve yourself. That's what makes you a good person. So don't worry so much. Also, there are things about you that people like. Like your dorkiness, your quirkiness, and your freaking baking. God Dang it! She's emphasizing a lot of things today. I have no idea why. Why? Wait. Like what? Uh, like, like how you're fun to be around, and you're not shy, and you know how to make people laugh. <sighs> And you're very passionate about things, and you know how to take the lead, and you care about a lot about other people, and just a lot of things. Oh. Well, now you're making me feel really embarrassed. Well, you're the one who lost. Oh. And don't you think I feel embarrassed? Noski tries to hide a smile, and then she sighs as it fades again. Then she goes back to her little angry self. Every time I come here, I always think it's the last time, but then I keep coming back for some reason. Is that bad? Uh, just really confusing. These are... I mean, my friends and I go way back, so did you see them all the time? Feels like I don't know. Feels like what? Natsuki's voice keeps quiet. Maybe I'm scared of the walk and marry me! Hmm? Why is that? I don't really know what to do! She paused. Yuri stares into the distance, tracing her eyes along the patterns of the floor tiles while she thinks to herself. What would you do, hypothetically, if your friends weren't happy for you instead of mad at you? Happy for... Happy for what? Happy that you're in a new club. It's making you happy? Well... That's just not fair, hypothetical. Noski says that, but with a little confidence in her voice. Like she know every one of her friends isn't going to be happy for her, her or blah 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 this and the other. I always told myself that I don't rely on the approval of others to be happy. And I still feel that way, but... I'm spending time with people who put me down whenever I don't have their approval. That's probably what's making me so confused. Because I'm threatened of the things that could make me happy. So no matter what it's like, I have to be unhappy to be happy. It's making my head hurt! Yowch! That must make it really difficult to feel comfortable with yourself. Being made to feel like you're wrong just for being the person you are. 
<laughs> it really goes against everything I believe in, doesn't it? It goes against the kind of person I want to be. I'm fed up with it! I'm fed up with a lot of things! Noski presses her palms into her forehead and shakes her head. I know what's best for me, but I keep convincing myself out of it. It's so much easier to be comfortably unhappy than it is to do something scary. To do what? To do what? You know. To end it. With them? Oh boy, did he get involved in a suicide pact or something? I didn't think you were actively considering that as an option. I wasn't until recently. Is this one of those things where, like... It's been in a certain way for so long that you just get used to it. So much of you has gotten into it so much that feels like this is how your life is. And throwing it away like something throwing away a big part of your life. Makes me feel sick to think about it. Hmm. It's really scary and terrifying. What are you scared of? I don't know a lot of things. Like being alone. Not having anyone to talk to or hang out with. Not being able to replace what I have with them. And I don't want them to hate me. <laughs> I'm scared that they'll hurt me for going against them. Physically? No, I'm not physically, dummy! But... Natsuki? What? If anyone even thinks to cause you harm... If anyone even thinks to cause you harm... I will unleash hell upon them. Lots of it, too. Do I scare you? <laughs> Maski snorts in laughter. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> Sorry, I was this. I like that. That's all. Oh. Well, I meant it. No, you did. Natsuki gives it Yuri an endearing look. I needed it. Mm -hmm. As the conversation lapses, Natsuki again slides her box of cupcakes over to Yuri. Just take them, okay? I don't. I don't want other people to have them anymore. Are you sure? That sounds like me with you. I don't like sharing nostalgic days. Get back over there. <laughs> Natsuki nods. I'm, I'm sure. I will then. I will enjoy them. Natsuki looks away, but a feeling of warmth spreads through her. She holds on to that feeling, knowing that it will give her courage. Oh, boy. Oh, you're here first today. Uh -huh. And you brought reading material. Uh -huh. is sitting in a usual spot this time, holding a volume of manga while her lunch sits beside her. Yuri sits down as Wall and opens her own book. As Wall, I meant as well. I mean, I can't English as it is. It sucks when it gets... It's because I'm right here. Series has to come to an end. Like it's such a big part of your life and then one day there's just nothing left. It makes you feel so empty. Unfortunately, I'm about to experience that myself. I'm on the last book of this series. That sucks. But there's something satisfying about letting a story conclude. 
I don't know if I'd want it to go on forever. Maybe! But there are some things that I wish I could. On the other hand, have you ever read something that overstated its welcome? Yeah, definitely! I can think of at least one thing I've read that's got pretty much unbearable like halfway through and the ending really sucks. So it sucks when someone thinks good has to end, but it also sucks when they just keep inventing more plot until you don't like it anymore. I guess either way it sucks. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the nature of all things. They all come to an end. The two fall silent. They slowly eat while making their way through their respectively reading material. Except Noski doesn't seem to be touching her food at all. You don't go out during the weekends, right? Excuse me? Like with friends at the mall or downtown or whatever. I mean, I'm not a total shit-in, you know? Oh, my bad for making assumptions. Well, I'm sure... Well, I'm sure I go out less than other people, but like you. And the other is in the club. I don't really meet with friends and uh, arbitrarily spend time like that. You know what I mean? I'm usually meeting my board game me my with my board game group. Board game group? It it doesn't matter. It's just some more nerdy stuff. Why do you ask anyway? I was just curious. I just realized that I could pick you with, so I was just curious. Yuri looks at Noski and then realizes that she's shaking. Don't look at me like that. Are we? Noski pulls her knees into her chest and puts her head down. I can't take this! Did I do something? Yuri gets flustered and her mind is racing over what she may have said or done. I did! I ended it! I texted them earlier telling them. Then I just blocked them because I'm afraid of their responses. Now it feels like I'm dying inside. Oh. That's... I'm sorry. Totally unsure of what to do, Yuri can barely find any words to support to offer. Meanwhile, the sound of Natsuki's unusually hard breathing fills the air. Then she speaks again, barely above a whisper. I feel sick and I want to put in my hands against things. Please help, I can't take this. Maybe having a panic attack. With that realization, Yuri's demeanor suddenly changes. I have experiences with this, so I'll help you through it, okay? Natsuki meekly nods through her rapid breath head still buried in her knees. Yuri slides herself over Natsuki and sits on the step behind her. Then she puts on her hands on Natsuki's shoulders. Can you feel my hands? Natsuki nods. Her hands shaking becomes much more apparent through Yuri's sense of touch. Yuri keeps her voice low and gentle. You're safe right now. You're in a good place and you're safe. Where nothing can hurt you. Natsuki nods one more time. Although Yuri is touching Natsuki's shoulder, she can practically feel her racing pulse through the base of her neck. So basically, like right here where the carotid artery is. Do a breathing exercise together. All you have to do is listen to my breaths and breathe along with me. See, that's my thing. When I'm at a slumber party like with my friends or with my sister I like to put my breathing align with theirs that's what she's trying to get her to do to help calm her down let's breathe in now beneath her hand she feels Natsuki's shoulders rise at as Natsuki takes a breath of her own trying to mimic Yuri 
They exhale together all through Anoski's breath and shakes on the way out. <laughs> That's good. Let's keep going. He said that's the strangest one he's ever heard. The strangest exhale, I guess. Yuri breathes once more, and Natsuki joins her. They continue like that for a few more cycles while Yuri closely monitors. Eventually, Yuri feels Natsuki rest more on her way into Yuri's palms. Let's focus on the physical world. All you have to do is focus on the feelings of your breaths going in. And then the weight of my hands on your shoulders. You're in a safe, comfortable, and physical and comfortable physical space. A minute passes in silence. By now, the worst of it has passed. But Yuri is determined not to move away until Natsuki calms her too. Oh, that's so sweet. Meanwhile, Natsuki has lifted her head from her knees, but her breathing has and her breathing has mostly steadied. Then she takes a final deep breath and slowly pulls herself to her feet, causing Yuri to let go. And she stretches her arms. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. I don't know what my deal is. You don't have to apologize. This must be enormously stressful for you. Is it gonna keep happening? It may. Or it may not. We can take measures to help prevent it in the future, but I think it'll naturally get better over time. I mean, my anxiety attacks have actually gotten better over time. Thanks to this dorky. My humanoid. My little... Back over there, bunny. That was dark, considering the circumstances. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Natsuki has a really, really dark mindset. I mean, we're watching something that can be taken as completely dark or completely satisfying. It's up to you. Or completely helpful. Natsuki motions to sit back again, and so Yuri moves over. Yuri turns away to pick up her open book from the dusty floor, which she had hastily sat down earlier, and she brushes the dust off the covers. Oh, so is the school that dusty? I mean, I get schools are dusty, but come on. Like, don't they clean the dang floors? I don't think I could have gotten through that alone. Thank you. You're not alone, you're Natsuki. Feeling shy again, Yuri speaks into her own laugh. From now on, you don't have to do anything alone. Get a room. Just kidding. It's rare for her to be so open to share her openly share her thoughts but something about Natsuki of all people makes it feel so much more natural to do so Natsuki is a real person well she's not a real person she she is a mentally real person she doesn't take any crap from anyone because perhaps because like Yuri Natsuki is too timid and uncertain of herself Natsuki does such a good job trying to hide it that it's taken a long time for Yuri to finally realize it, that they're so much alike. And because of that, Yuri is able to deliver and reassure that she herself would have wanted. Demonstrating that you deserve a lot of love of others. If you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you can begin the tumultuous journey of learning to love yourself. Oh, that's a good picture. Do you really mean that? Sorry, flooding in for a moment. I mean, we can evacuate or can I just go and find out my phone is or not? See you later. Focus okay. on what you are doing. You're probably gonna regret saying that. 
bad as the zoo. How so? Because I'm probably going to have a lot of free time during the weekends from now on. So you're giving me permission to be as naughty as I want and drag you around to a lot of places. I see. But you already said it. You can't take it back now. Uh, well, I suppose I have no choice but to accept that responsibility then. Mm -hmm. Aww. I know a good ice cream place. You want to go? Huh? I mean, to finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember? The first day you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor, but for me, you said she had no idea. Seriously? I don't remember that at all. Oh wait, yes I do. I said it was probably green tea. Yuri shakes her head. It's a good guess, but my favorite is usually to get chocolate and raspberry. Well, it's a good guess, but my favorite is usually to get chocolate and raspberry together. Raspberry, I've never really been a huge fan of, but okay. Chocolate and raspberry? How fancy! How is that fancy? Oh, I don't know. I should have guessed that something like that. Well, maybe next time I'll try chocolate and squawberry. Hey! Hey, strawberry is my favorite! Huh? What a coincidence. I think, uh, I think it helps that we have something to look forward to. I still have to see a feeling in my stomach. But it's easier now to convince myself that I did the right thing. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not that I know of! There's nothing that would make this easier for me. And you already did more than I thought anyone could. <laughs> Come to think of it, we never talked about the letter you wrote. But I feel like we're way past. I don't even know what to talk about. Except that I think helped me understand that I need my needs a little bit better. The way I like to be treated. And the kinds of friends that I want to have. That's why I wanted to start coming here in the first place. Even though I was so scared of causing more issues! I thought I thought it was a coincidence that you ran into me here initially. <laughs> well, not exactly. What do you mean? Nothing. I I may have tracked you down first. Whoa, that's not creepy at all. Okay. <laughs> what the hell, Pythiori? That's... But you said I was fine. Okay. I wasn't ready to like. Whatever, you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess I'm glad that you worked up the courage, even if it wasn't your own way. I can tell that you've been making a lot of difficult decisions. It's brave. And it'll make things better for you in the long run. And I'll always be here for you. I think anyone would be proud of you for it. There you go, Grandma. Proud of it. Anyone? You mean like you? Yes. Like You know, I can get used to this. As long as you don't tease me too much. Bye. 
was Yuri's voice, wasn't it? How do I get back to the street? Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, just a little bit. That's fine. I know how uncertain everything feels to you right now, but I really do think that good things are in store and that aren't my honest feelings. Thanks! It feels so nice to be re-adored. I wonder how much longer this side story is going to be. This, the two girls continue their conversation through the remainder of lunch. Of course they do. Two nerds reading books and and enjoying book um, enjoying their lunch in a classroom. What else could a girl want? Next to a scare staircase. What else could? A <laughs> what could else could a girl want? <laughs> but a new feeling hangs in the air, a feeling of greater certainty in their path forward. And just a few hours later, there will be a literature club meeting where there are four club members that will happily spend time together. Each of them, all their own special qualities, has something unique that they can deliver to one another. Through friendship and literature, the club members will continue to grow and find new happiness together. The end of each chapter will start of the next. Yuri thinks to herself, and she's about to finish her long-running series. It would be best to have a new book lined up. Perhaps this weekend would be a good time to visit the bookstore since Noski is dragging her to the mall. Together. That's the side story for today, so... Well, that's all the side stories. In general, I guess, so... Thanks for watching this episode of The Nostalgia Train. If you want to subscribe to the channel, the button's right below us. If you just want to see more videos, and it's... To Bottom the, right corner. Yeah, there you go. Down there. Uh, the rest of this playlist will be across from... My head. Now your head. <laughs> uh, click the link on either or. Uh, the bottom right will be specifically any other visual novel that's been done before. Anyway, thanks again, guys. We'll continue on with... The original DDLC. I figured I'd give this one a chance, you know, to do her own stuff. Actually, I have a different reason, but you'll see that earlier in an earlier video. Anyway. Oh, will they? He's trying to get me out of my shyness. Well, you're kind of partially out of that anyway. Anyways, uh, we're no, going to train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Woohoo! Bye!